Hey, it's Pack Eagle here to talk about my underground quilts and gear Zeppelin underquilt, three season model. Alright, we're going to talk about some of the features of the quilt. But first, I'm going to give you a, a nice 360 degree view of the quilt on my Warbonnet Blackbird hammock. All right, now let's take a look inside, see what we got. Start out with right here, we've got a set of triangle things. Ordered these with my quilt because I am being a new user, thought the, under, the triangle things would help keep the underquilt up underneath of my hammock better right here. Keep the angle of this section here up higher. From my understanding, when you hook an undercold up from here, it's going to hang down lower over in this direction and not cinch up as tight to the bottom of the hammock. So I've decided to utilize these for now. If I decide I don't need them later, they are detachable. Utilizing, just unclip this small number two S beaner. So those are the triangle things from underground quilts and gear and I'm not sure if he's actually selling these for um, the market I didn't see him on his site but in my correspondence with him I expressed an interest and he said he could hook me up so I got a nice set of those from him Paul has been a really great guy to work with on this whole uh, under quilt thing talking to him about different fill weight options and things of that nature uh, he's been wonderful to you know talk back and forth we milled over a whole bunch of different ideas of what quilt I wanted and you know what temperatures I'd be using it in and things like that uh, he recommended for me the three season model because I wanted to extend it out into kind of almost in the winter setting and so the three season model just seemed like it'd be the best fit and in the future I'm looking to buy probably a summer model as well just because this thing came out a little heavier than I wanted, but that's because I'm a gram weenie, if you will. I came out to be, I think it's 27 ounces, which is a few ounces heavier than my uh, Big Agnes Insulated Air Core pad, which I was using on the ground. And my goal was to keep it comparable to the sleeping pad. And it's not quite comparable, but at the same time, when I was using my AirCore pad, which says it's rated to 15, I was using it down to 32 one night when I was camping uh, last month, and it was freezing. It was not warm enough at all. I took this quilt down to 32 on Friday night, and it kept me warm all the way down to 32 degrees. So, I mean, the extra weight is almost worth it when you compare it to the the pad not keeping me warm at that and in the summertime I bet my have to look at specs but I bet the three or the summer model would be lighter than the pad alright let's look at the under quilt suspension now we're gonna start out with from the triangle thing we've got a number two S beaner 1 8 inch shock cord with a cord lock and then just a simple knot then we've got a, sh a channel on the underquilt that the underquilt can slide on indefinitely. And then at the other end, in this case the head end of my hammock, it's just got a knot, another S beaner to another triangle thing. And what this allows to happen is, is I can adjust each side of the underquilt independently of one another. So if I want my right side to be a little tighter, maybe I'm leaning that direction when I sleep. I can tighten the right side of the hammock up and I can loosen the left side of the hammock up independently of another with the shock with the cord lock at that end of the hammock over there. To stitch up the ends of the hammock, Paul has put a grommet in one of the end channels on the foot and head end of the underquilt. 
that way I can adjust it utilizing just this simple cord lock loosen it up pull it down vent it out if I need to cinch it up tighter if I need to pretty simple under quilt stuff but it's really nice just to kind of see how exactly he's chosen to implement that end channel on this particular under quilt then you have the baffles these have two inch no CM baffles with a differential cut so as you can see he's got this is the baffle here then in the middle he's got this uh, pleat to help bring the material in together on the end channel. Another thing you'll notice about this underquilt is that he doesn't use any grow grain ribbing on the underquilt at all except for these small tabs which he's included about every 10 inches down the length of the underquilt to help if you needed to hook up a line to run to your ridge line. Um, in case you get a little bit of sag in the bottom and you want to eliminate that, you can run an elastic line up to your hammock ridge line. But other than that, he hasn't used any ribbon, ribbon on the underquilt. You know, he used them on the triangle things, of course, you know, just little tie-outs. But he hasn't used it as edging. And I thought that was kind of interesting. And when I was talking with him, I was asking about durability issues. Because I was thinking maybe why other manufacturers were using the ribbon was for durability. But he brought up some very good points about how you're you're just you're not going to be rubbing very fast along the sh you know the shock cord. You know you're not going to have too much forces because it's shock cord, so it's going to stretch with your material as you get in and out. So you're not going to worry about forces pulling. And he's got about four layers or two to four layers of um, material by the time he sews the quilt together and then folds it over and to make this end channel and then the corners I think he's got four layers because he sews see how he sews the corner over to make it a nice finished edge so that makes it four layers at right at the ends of the channels to help prevent that so that was another thing he did for weight savings purposes and I really appreciate that being a Graham Winnie that I am that he's trying to save some weight so here it is the underground quilts and gear three season Zeppelin with two ounces of overstuffed down so it's got 14 ounces of 800 fill down in this bad boy thanks for watching and hope to see more of these under quilts on the trail